Okay. Chapter 3, Episode 2. Sally and Billy wandered into a small restaurant after a fair hike. The owner noticed that they were a little stressed and tired, if not completely confused and lost. He was about to close and would have said so if he wasn't the type to want to help those in distress. He gave them a bottle of water and two glasses. He made them something to eat and listened to the story from the boy. You sleep here tonight, no problem. You know better tomorrow what you must do. After they had eaten and washed up, the restaurant owner showed them back, showed them to a back room with a bed and a cot. A washroom, but no shower. Billy went straight to sleep. Sally insisted on helping in the kitchen. She washed some, she washed some dished, and she washed some dishes, dished, it says dish, bro. <laughs> she washed some dishes and even mopped the floor. She was glad to have something to do where no one was staring at her. Her body was used to it, but her brain wasn't quite up to speed on it. When the wife of the owner came to open the restaurant in the morning, she was very impressed by the state of the kitchen. The husband was a great cook, which is very good for their little business. He was not so great with cleaning. He told her one of the kids that were sleeping in the back had done it. She almost thought about getting upset, but it wasn't the first time strangers had stayed in the back room. She shook her head and kissed her man. It was a blessing. She knew to have a man that was compassionate and generous. She knew the other kind and didn't like that breed at all.